I'm Michelle. Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you all. If you are new, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. My channel focuses on travel, my experiences in fashion. I hope that you guys like my YouTube channel and my videos. If you have any questions for me, you can check out my Instagram right here uh, and follow me and you're welcome to send me a message with any questions that you have or you can go down below and leave me a comment. Topic that I would like to talk about before we get into the main topic is negativity. Um, I have been getting a couple or more than a couple, a few comments on my YouTube videos um, and there were a few that were on the borderline of being disrespectful. Uh, please don't assume things about me. Uh, you don't know me. Um, I want to make a happy and inspirational uh, place. I don't mean any harm. I just want to inspire you guys to travel and to get interested into fashion and design and art uh, and culture. I'm a big culture girl. I'm basically an international child from three different countries. So I, I am very culturally aware that the world is very different. Um, but yeah, I would like to get into the video now. So how I started my online business with no work experience. The first thing that I did when I started my business was research. I researched a whole lot before I actually got into what item I was going to buy and sell. I looked at demand. Demand is a very important factor because when you're picking an item, you need to make sure that it's profitable, marketable, and you're able to buy it and then sell it. And you also need to think about what happens if they don't buy your product. Like, what do you do? You buy a hundred bicycles and then you have a hundred bicycles to sell or keep and where do you keep them and how do you use them? So you need to be able to find a item that will be not too expensive, but also like very like a quality item, a profitable and marketable item and an item that is in demand. A lot of friends and professionals what they thought and I did get a little bit of help so if you have a friend or even your manager at work or your professor or teacher at school like ask even your family or friends like anybody could give you feedback on what you're doing and like tell you like oh that's a great idea or you could do this or no maybe you shouldn't do that you could do this there's so many ideas out there um, you could even just Google it. Like there's so many people that are just following trends and just posting ideas online. Actually a lot of inspiration on in Instagram and Pinterest. I'm a big Pinterest girl. So I spent a lot of hours looking for information and just, just pictures and what people were doing because being able to research your market is very important to see what is out there. What are the prices that people are putting for different items and what is in demand what would be interesting to do um and basically what do you like so in the end i decided to do earrings and i decided to do earrings because i love earrings myself and they're very fashionable trendy they always change and, and so many people have different likes and dislikes and things that they love to do and I thought it would be a really marketable, it's not too expensive to make earrings or just buy them made already. So I, that's what I did. I found a website where they sold them not too, like pretty cheaply. And I started making my earrings and I also sold them already made. And when I had my first customer, it was the happiest moment. And I couldn't believe it. I, I was very excited. So. Uh, basically, I got a bunch of earrings. I spent a hundred, a, a few hundred bucks, and I got like I don't know, a hundred or so earrings. Uh, they were in silver coated or gold coated, uh, and they were very like different ranges. I tried to get categories of sections, and I put them themes. Uh, so the one in the summer that I did was a beach theme. 
and then this uh, theme that I did a few weeks ago was a more a more fancier fall theme because uh, we're currently here in the US in fall. The thing that I had to think about was where I was going to sell them. I looked into PayPal and Amazon and my, like a Wix website, um, Instagram and all these different types of platforms where I could sell them and I found Instagram the best way. So I basically just post my pictures on a story on my personal Instagram and I'll put this little scroll thing here so you guys can check it out. Um, I basically have stories of all the earrings that I'm selling. I take down the ones that I'm not selling anymore and you basically text me which ones you like and I give you a price. If you're interested, great. I, I can ship around the United States um, and I can also uh, just give them to you if you live here in Alma with me. So I love doing Instagram because it's just so inspirational and it's cheap because all these other platforms make you pay a commission. So Instagram was probably the best thing for me starting out. Etsy is a very good platform, but I don't really think so. It's very overrated and uh, while there, there are some really cute things, they do charge a lot of money for shipping and they charge a big commission. So I prefer to just do it through Instagram. It was a lot better that way. And yeah, they turned out pretty well and I keep getting customers, so I must be doing something right. Here are some of the earrings that I uh, basically have already done. Uh, I think that the biggest um, thing that you should do is taking beautiful pictures, aesthetically pleasing pictures, because when you're marketing your product, you want to make sure that it doesn't look like this, but it looks like this. So there is a difference in how you present the product. You also take into account how I present the work um, in a very beautiful manner, because I think once somebody pays for it, they want to see the earring and I want to make sure that that experience is a happy one. And when you're opening up a package that is beautifully wrapped or adorned in a very different or aesthetically pleasing way, it makes a big difference in the experience of how they got that earring and the, the first time they saw it. Not only did they fall in love with it through the picture, but they're falling in love with it like when they first see it. So being able to market your product that way will have customers wanting to buy from you again. Uh, and being able to market such a product in that way makes it special and it makes it different because not many people will beautifully wrap it in a beautiful manner. Um, so yeah, I, I really love what I'm doing and if you guys have any other ideas or if I'm doing something completely wrong, you can leave it down in the comments. I want to know what you guys think. I just started in this journey and I hope that I can continue doing marketable things and selling more items for my business. I think I found my life profession. I would really like to get into business and marketing. Um, but I am a creative person, so I, I really want to make it a creative business. So that is the end of the video, guys. Um, I will be posting a new video soon. If you haven't already, please give a like to this uh, video and it would make me super happy. I, I love it when you guys leave me comments or like my videos. It really makes me super, super duper happy. So if you can, just subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you next time. Bye.